Uh, let's try this again. Wait, that won't make sense because you won't know that this is my third time running through this whole thing because the focus on this camera keeps getting all out of whack. Anyway, uh, my name's Phil. Well, it's Tuesday. It's vaguely noonish. Let's do another one of these videos. Um, this week, I would like to talk about my experiences as a lounge band musician on a cruise ship. I did five contracts in three years with uh, Princess Cruise Lines, uh, working for a guy named Bruce Gordon out of Vancouver. Wonderful human being, um, love his work, fantastic vocalist. One of the things I want to talk about is how to get the gig, how to keep the gig, and knowing when to walk away from the gig. Get your trio together um, and get people that you know you can very comfortably live with in each other's back pockets for months on end, really. So it's like any touring band or, you know, I guess, um, polyamorous marriage. Um, you need a massive repertoire. Uh, make sure you brush up on all your um, super white bread um, ballroom stuff. You need chachas, rumbas, waltzes, foxtrots, all that stuff. Make sure you've got it all in your, ba in the, in your back pocket, good to go. Uh, you'll probably be expected to do a dance set every day. Every single day. Make sure your trio is, or quartet is really solid. You want to film as and record the audio for as much stuff as you possibly can. You want to make sure you can put together a promotional video that is as solid as possible, right? Um, the better your video, the better chances of you getting hired. And then you take that video to uh, an agent, you shop it around, you find an agent. Yeah, and that guy will shop you around to the different cruise lines. Um, nobody on a ship gets hired directly. Everybody goes through an agency. It's just the way it works. And uh, when you do get the gig, make sure you get, get take care of all your paperwork as fast as possible. Um, if, if, you know, you've got, say, two months to sort out your passport, your medical, your all that stuff, get it all taken care of as fast as you possibly can. Make sure you just... The first thing, like as soon as they're like, okay, you have the gig, you go out the very next day and you get everything started. You take care, you book your medical, um, get your passport up to date. If you need a new passport, get that going as soon as possible. If they say it'll take a month, it'll probably take six weeks. Um, so get all that stuff out of the way and then you get on the ship and uh, the first day is super ridiculously hectic. So in your first day, after traveling all this way, you get on the ship and it's just... Safety, 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 induction, induction, induction. One, one meeting after another, just bang, 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 bang. And then you go and you set up and you sound check, and then you go to dinner, and then you do the, your first night's gig. You know, you do, the, you do the first four set night, usually one before dinner, and then three after. Um, it's kind of standard four sets. Where you're alternating with another band, just bang, 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 one, one after the other all day, all night. And uh, then you are finally done your job, and you go right back to your cabin, and you fall out of your suit. And then you go to the crew bar, and you drink dollar fifty beers until you fall down. And that's, you know, just the first day. <laughs> Keeping the gig is actually quite easy to do in that um, all you have to do is um, don't get drunk in passenger areas. Uh, don't try and shag the passengers. Those two things in the pass with the passengers are very important. They will fire you in a second. They do not need the hassle. They'll just, you're just gone, you're, you'll go home. Um, and anything you can do to make your boss's job easier, just do it. If there's paperwork that you have to do on the ship, get it done, get it out of the way as soon as you can. Timesheets, whatever, all that stuff. Just get it done, get it out of the way. Um, if you keep your manager happy, he will recommend you to the company. He'll say, you know, like good things about your trio and you will get the better gigs. You know, you'll be getting the Asia, the Baltics, the Mediterranean. You won't be stuck going back and forth from Alaska to the Caribbean until your mind explodes. Keep everything easy for everybody. Um, don't get pickled in the crew bar and bash people up. Don't steal from people. Just, you know, be a civilized human being and you'll be fine. Uh, no matter what, do not ever, ever, ever miss the ship. It will cost you a fortune. It was like half a month's wage, just gone, you know. Um, so that sucks. And don't be late for work. You know, if you start at 5, be there at 4.30. It's not that hard. You've got all day to take a shower and put on a suit and be there by 4.30. It's not that hard to figure out. Yes. The most important thing is to have an end goal. Um, have a kind of a financial goal, maybe. Um, once I have $10,000 in the bank, it's time to go. Once I've got enough for a down payment for a house, 
it's time to go, which if you live here in Australia, will take you a decade to do um, if you bank every penny. If you are just coming straight out of university and you want to just stay on there until your um, student loan debts are gone, that's very common. Yeah, myself in my third contract is when I met Stephanie, my partner in crime. We ended up doing two contracts together back to back. And then by the end of the second one, we just knew it was time for us to be together forever. Forever. Um, but I had already agreed to do another fifth contract. My original end goal um, was to just do it until I didn't want to anymore. Um, there are guys that have been there for 40, 50 years that were actually on the love boat. And it's a bit depressing unless, you know, you really like it or you're a raging alcoholic, I suppose. High functioning alcoholic. If to get the gig, you need an agent, a passport, uh, you need a promotional video for your band, and you need your medical stuff sorted out as soon as you possibly can. Uh, to keep the gig, be a civilized human being, show up sober and clean and tidy to your every gig, be good to your boss, because he will be good to good back to you, or she, or they, whatever. Um, and uh, don't be drunk and trying to shag people in the passenger areas, and you'll be good to go. Um, that'll get you fired, real quick. Like that, you're gone, and you're screwed, and you'll be in Vladivostok with no money going, how do I get home? The company says, I don't care, you're fired. They probably wouldn't do that. Have an end goal in mind. I can't say that often enough. Yeah, so I guess that's it for this week. Um, like always, uh, share and like the video and subscribe to the channel. There's Butchie. Hey, buddy. No, he just looked at me like I crapped in his kitchen. Anyway, um, yeah, what was I saying? Ah, crap. Anyway, all that other stuff, you guys know. It's YouTube, nothing's new. Call to action, do the thing. <laughs> That's all. See you guys next Tuesday.